Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review. I know I have done a bunch of makeup tutorials, but today I am going to be talking about the new Huda Beauty Neon Palettes. I have a bit of an experience using these already because I have used every single shade on my eyes. And doing eye swatches is like one of the best ways for me to see how they look on the eyes and blend it out and all that. So if you have missed those videos, they are up there. But anyways, today is the review. So I'm going to talk about this one first. This one is the Neon Orange Palette. This one was the one that I was most excited about. I really like the orange shades in here as well as the yellows. Like I said, this one was the one that I was most excited about. I love yellow eyeshadow, so this one was perfect. Um, I did a very pretty look with this. The mattes blend out super easily. The mattes also pack on really good. The only ones that I have a little bit of trouble with are the shimmers, just because they are kind of sheer. Not kind of, they are very, very sheer, except there's like a hit or miss. Um, the yellow in here is not as sheer and it's not as glittery so it does pack on nicely like it really shows up and then these two are very chunky and they have like that weird glitter fallout you know it just kind of makes a little bit of a mess it is glittery it does have glitter in it because i can see it all over my face whenever i'm done so that is the only issue that i have with these are mainly the shimmers i thought it was going to be the other way around because you know whenever you think of neon colors you always feel like maybe you're going to need a white base for them to show up you actually don't with these they do show up on your eyelid at least for my skin tone like it really shows up so i have an issue with that i don't need a white base for them to show up so I was happy with that so those are the swatches for the orange palette like I said this one I thought it was gonna be my favorite and it is and it ended up being my favorite palette out of all three palettes so I don't really like the shimmers like I said I like the yellow one so two shades out of the entire palette not being like being not so great is okay with me the mattes in here are perfect so I really love those so I'm very 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 happy with this little palette for sure I am going to be using this one so I did use the orange palette for one of the tutorials that I uploaded here already and that one I did use the orange shades the pink shades I used the shimmer shades, I created a cut crease, and it just looked overall very, very nice. Again, the shimmer that I tried to apply on the center of the eyelid, it wasn't really showing up that much. I had to go over that one a little bit because that one, that one was one of the chunky ones, but overall, the look came out really nice. So, like I said, this one is my favorite one. As far as the palette as a whole, I really like this one. So, now I'm going to get into the more prob prob problematic palettes for me so this one I, I guess it's not they're not problematic in like a very negative way but it's just personal okay so this one is the green one this one did come broken one of the eyeshadows came broken and that one is a very very messy eyeshadow even more so now that it's broken because it's one of those chunky glitter shades so i was able to use it for my swatches and swatching it on my arm and everything um but it is very very messy so it does make the entire palette messy i didn't take it out because it's, I needed it. I needed it for the swatches and stuff. So the colors in here that I like the most are the mattes. The shimmers are pretty. They give a very pretty finish. The white one gives a very good finish. Um, I prefer it with the finger instead of with the brush because it does not show up. It is very, very sheer. This one works with the brush, this darker one over here. It has a very pretty finish to it. It's like different colors whenever you look at it and you like move side to side wherever the light hits it it looks a different color so that one's very pretty but the shimmers in here are not that great with a brush i would recommend using your finger for all of them um besides like i said this one right here which is the darkest one the mattes show up very nicely the lime green is very pretty on the eyes too like i said i didn't need a white base with it they, it also blends out really easily and so does that one the pink one is also very pretty just like the other mattes it packs on blends out very nicely it is a very light pink but it does show up on my eyes on my skin tone so with this one it's actually the opposite you get way more shimmers than you do mattes so this one is my least favorite it does only have three masks like I said which to me it wouldn't be a problem but the fact that the shimmers don't really show up nicely is what is kind of like I don't know it's kind of like a not so great palette to me I feel like the shimmers if you're gonna include a bunch of shimmers in one palette they should work really really good like i said it's not like they don't show up they do you can see the eye swatches you can see them there but they're just a little messy they're not if they were all like the green and uh, not the green but the yellow in here not so chunky not so 
messy it's just like kind of PC you know it's just like little little crumbs all over your face um, if there were more like this I would like it but it's just too many messy shimmers and it just doesn't make me want to grab the palette to use it so yeah the shimmers are I mean the mattes are pretty in here the two lime greens and the pink one those are pretty in this palette but I would not recommend this palette unless you really like shimmers and you are mainly gonna use your fingers or you do like a very very simple look where you just want a sheer sheer topper or something like that for this look i created a very very simple look i did this look for my facebook so if you want to see the entire makeup tutorial for this the eyes and the face i did film it it is on my youtube it's on my facebook <laughs> um, i'm not used to saying on my facebook but it's a tutorial on my facebook if it's not there yet it will be for sure because i already edited it so it will be up there soon but i did a very very simple look like i said it's a very pretty palette it came out really nicely i used the darkest lime green for the crease area I blended it out with the lighter lime green and then I put the center shade or the eyelid shade I used the white one it has a green shift to it it came out so pretty it was very soft looking and then on my lower lash line I used the matte pink in here and it came out very very pretty so that one was a very wearable look more like jumping into color type of look i really like the way that it turned out so like i said it's a very pretty palette it's just my least favorite because of the shimmers but if you're okay with applying it with your finger that's how i applied it in that look it'll work out a lot better trust me than with the brush and if you do use a brush i would recommend a synthetic brush with some type of makeup mist primer mist setting spray whatever it is use that all right so this one is the hot pink one very beautiful this is the one that i'm wearing right now but i'm gonna take it off in a little bit it does look very pretty though on the eyes uh, the color combination is very beautiful the only problem that i have with the with this palette is that it burns my eyes it's sucky it's, i was gonna say it's so unfortunate but i wanted to say sucky instead and yes i do love the color combination i love the hot pink in here they show up really nicely they blend out very nicely like everything is great except for the fact that it burns my eyes so i cannot use this palette i'm gonna take off this look to Today, I thought I could try it out one more time and just see how it goes but I can tell that it's gonna start like I need to take it off already <laughs> honestly like I'm sacrificing my eyelids right now but I just wanted to try it one more time and make sure that it was the actual eyeshadow and not the glitter or not something else I was maybe burning my eyes you know but no it's the eyeshadow it's not burning right now I don't need to take it off but I can tell like whenever I was applying it I could feel something so i know that that's not a good sign so they do stain my eyes i think it's mainly because i did all eyeshadows in one day so it's totally normal for it to stain my eyes because it's a little excessive you know i'm doing eye, eye swatches not the normal person you as a normal person are not going to be doing eye swatches you know oh you know putting one taking it off putting another taking it off so it might not stain your eyes for one day um, but to me it did stain my eyes and it burned my eyes so much to where the outer corner of my eyes were kind of pink you know so I know that pink eyeshadow doesn't work for me anymore I did notice that same thing now with the James Charles palette the pigment in there the pink one burns my eyes the pink one from the Anastasia Riviera palette and is it the Riviera or the even the Alyssa Edwards that one too it's just hot pink there's something in them that I, and I haven't checked the ingredients because honestly I'm not like oh let me check I'm not gonna buy this palette because of that to me it's just like let me try it and see if it'll work out you know give it a chance but now I know that pink eyeshadow is not for my eyes which sucks because you know I want to be able to use every single shade every single color on my eyelids and I just cannot with the pink so that is the only issue that I have with this but if you want to get it I do recommend this palette because of the quality of the eyeshadows they blend out so easily they show up on the eyes packed on blended out they just look really really good like I said if you haven't seen the eye swatches you should because you'll see the true the trueness of each eyeshadow they are sheer but they're just a little bit different now they still get messy and they still have glitter but I just feel like they show up a little bit more than the ones in the green palette do for the look today I did use the dark purple one on the crease area I blended it out with a light pink and then I also applied the shimmer shade the light shimmer shade on the center of the eyelid to give me a glow on the center kind of like a halo effect and then on the outer part of the light shimmer shade I applied the hot 
pink shimmer on the outer corners of the eye and then I applied the matte hot pink shade on the very outer corner of the eye. On the lower lash line I again used that purple and I created today's look, the one that I'm wearing right now. So this one also came out very pretty like I said. It looks very nice. I'm very happy with the palette. I like the mattes. I like the, the shimmer that I have on the eyelids too. Like everything looks pretty except for the fact that I know I'm not going to be able to wear this for very long so I'm going to have to take it off right now. <laughs> so that that sucks but I guess I could say that the one that worked out for me the best is the orange one but of course not everybody is allergic to whatever the pink shades have this one worked out great for me it did not stain my eyes uh, it stained my eyes it did not sting it did not burn my eyes at all so I'm happy with this one but I hope the video was helpful in seeing the demos the arm swatches and yeah just hearing my thoughts on the palettes and it helps you pick which palette you think would be best for you like i said if you want something a little bit more detailed and see every single shade you can check out my swatches i have them linked up there in the little i button above and that is it for today's review thank you so much for watching another one of my videos i will see you guys in my next one bye stop saying um 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 besides like, um so um whenever um uh, because um but